Hey there. Proteus is very much a hidden gem. Complex as heck, and lets you do pretty wild things. In other words, it's what I'm all about. I'm here to showcase and provide a guide to Proteus by Fenderix. And to an extent, Project Proteus has similar functionality, just older and slower. First of all, I'd like to take the first portion of this video to briefly describe all the simpler actions Proteus does. You can make temporary or permanent edits to weapons, armor, and spells. You can change their strength, apply enchantments, learn and unlearn spells. With NPCs, you can change their relative strength and stats, how they fight, teach or make them forget spells, make them recruitable, marriageable, resurrect them, change their clothes and their voice, only standard Skyrim voices. You can also take control of them, but this is kind of janky because they're still considered NPCs and can't do all of the normal actions you could. There's also utility functions like changing the weather, teleporting, etc. Random stuff. All right, all of the above you can do with console commands, but it's a convenience thing to have it in a menu. And now the main thing this mod is known for. Be warned that there are janky bits, and that's mainly due to Skyrim's engine. You can save your character to an external JSON file for later. Once your character is stored, this allows you to summon your character into another character's world and use them as a follower. When you do this, be sure and do a little QA. Make sure they're the right sex. If not, use the console, click on them in console command sex change. Yes. Good to see you again, friend. Change their voice to whatever you want it to be. If you're using Dragonborn voiceover, you'll have to live with the fact that it's only vanilla Skyrim voices. You might want to teach them spells and change their stats to fit how you want them to be. This will also remove any enchantments on their equipment. You can fix this if you like with Proteus or your own enchanting. And your summon PC might be named Unused Slot. This doesn't affect anything, it's just annoying. So mainly how I use this function is to keep track of my quests and just move between files and summon other characters to be backups for each person. I would suggest you keep your characters home in their own save game for ease of character creation and keeping track and just summon them between as needed. This is mainly what I do. Some things to note, when you save your character, it saves a backup. If you change your appearance and race menu, say you wanna change your hair, on next load, it will revert to your appearance saved in Proteus. All you need to do is make another Proteus save after you change everything, anything physical about your character. If you create another character with the same exact name, their appearance will most likely change to your Proteus save on next load. In other words, name your next character something slightly different, or perform another Proteus save if you want that to be the new appearance of this character. Also, don't ever Proteus save a character named Prisoner. This causes problems, because whenever you create a new character, it's called Prisoner. You know, before you actually name it whatever you want. All right, even more bonkers. If you want, Proteus also allows you to switch your active character in-game. I suggest doing this by summoning them first and then swapping with them so your old guy can just be hanging out. You really can just summon all of your other characters into one game and have and designate them a home with My Home is Your Home or some similar mod, and they will just live and go about their business. You can swap between them as needed. This process comes with some jankiness as well, and I tend not to play a bunch of characters in the same save file. As previously noted, stripping enchantments is a thing. If you switch characters, just strip them of their equipment before you switch and re-equip them afterwards. Make sure your old guy and you have the right stats, gender, spells, and equipment afterward. Also take note that your save file will reflect who you are currently controlling when you save. It might get a little confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Also, all NPCs in the game will act as if you were all the same person. For instance, if PC1 did the Thieves Guild quest and PC2 did, did the Dark Brotherhood quest, both the Guild and the Brotherhood will act as if whoever you're controlling at the time is the Guild Master and the Listener. Spoilers, I guess, for a 12-year-old game. This is really an engine limitation and unavoidable. Not Proteus' fault. If it bothers you, just don't cross your haunts and friend groups. Alright, so this is most of the actual explanation. But here's a demo of what the mod can do. I guess also an advertisement of my channel that you're currently watching. I created Distana as the Dragonborn, and then later I created Damien and Fenrir as their sons. 
and adopted Rune Fair Shield. Once in a while, I would bring a character along for another guy's adventures. Like when Fenrir did Kagrin Falls, I brought his brother Damien to back him up. When I originally did the Dark Brotherhood questline, Runa became the listener and Destana was just a member of the Dark Brotherhood backing her up, as a master thief, mother, and mentor. Later on down the road, Fenrir brings Destana questing with Dirtyborn. Destana and Circuit were on opposite sides of the Civil War, sometimes fighting each other and sometimes questing together. I went really crazy with Assault on Vale and Wood, and I brought... Destana, Damien, Fenrir, Runa, Rohisa, and Tassel. I actually just played through the first battle four times and cut it all together. Different perspectives, but also a healthy amount of summoning and other NPCs to each world. And that is essentially it for your lightweight Proteus guide. More Beyond Skyrim Bruma coming up soon. I've been working a lot, so I haven't had a lot of time to make videos. But let me know down in the comments what truly insane numbers of people you have in your groups as your characters all go together and bust up some dragons and dungeons. That's all for today. Happy modding.